Well, researchers from the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco recently returned from another expedition to the Verde Island Passage in the Philippines. It's a place they call the center of the center of marine biodiversity. More unique marine species live in that spot than anywhere else in the ocean. And now some of their new discoveries are on display in the Steinhardt Aquarium. We begin our story where the journey started in the Philippines. The dive gear is prepped, and a crew from the California Academy of Sciences sets out to explore a place never before seen by human eyes. The ocean has a lot of space that's been unexplored, but this is one of the most unexplored spaces. Bart Shepard is the director of the Steinhardt Aquarium in San Francisco, and was recently part of a team of specially trained scientists studying an area of the ocean usually out of reach. They call it the twilight zone. Well, the mesophotic area uh, where we've been doing exploring is in the range of say 250 to 500 feet deep. And that's an area that not a lot of people have bothered to explore. No, it's very true and that's simply because you can't reach it with normal scuba diving equipment with the typical scuba diving equipment used by recreational divers and if you're going to go through the expense of getting a sub or a, an ROV you're going really deep. You're not exploring these sort of in-between areas. So the twilight zone, the mesophotic reefs, have remained unexplored now for many, many years. They call it the twilight zone both because it's where sunlight begins to dissipate and it remains shrouded in mystery. More people have been to the moon than have dived on these reefs. And what scientists are learning is this area is teeming with life. It's been estimated that the researchers are discovering up to 10 new species per hour in the twilight zone. <laughs> the divers' voices are changed by the helium gas mix they inhale through their closed circuit rebreather systems. This technology allows them to stay underwater for more than five hours, allowing them to go deeper and work longer. <laughs> Through a special collection permit from the Philippine government, some of the new found species were brought back alive to California for further study. They're now housed at the Steinhardt Aquarium. Where are we right now? Well, we're behind the scenes in the aquarium right now, so the guests, the public, are right on the other side of this wall. And this tank here uh, is a tank that houses many of the corals that we brought back from the Philippines on our most recent trip. Oh, wonderful, such as? So there's a lot of deep water corals in here, uh, some hard corals uh, and some black coral uh, that we brought back. We, I collected uh, and some of my colleagues collected at about 250 to 400 feet deep in yeah. the Philippines. This is our aquarium holding room. So this is a brand new room we actually just built. Uh, perfect time for us to bring back animals from the Philippines. How many species did you store in here? About 16 different species, about 25, 30 fish that were in here that were held for about 30 days uh, in a quarantine situation. That's just to make sure that we protect our existing collection, that we don't allow animals that are being brought into the building to introduce pests or diseases or parasites uh, that would impact our living collections. And do you have some species that you're still holding here? We do, we do. We have a number of things that are uh, part of ongoing research projects. So uh, if you look down in here in these two containers, you'll see some small octopus that are in there. Uh, those are called coconut octopus. We collected those in the Philippines and they've been part of a, an ongoing research project that we've been working on for a few years. Uh, we were the first aquarium ever to display those, uh, so we perfected the collection and the transport techniques in order to get them all back with 100% survival. We are very interested in cephalopods, the octopus and their relatives, and uh, have done a lot of work with those in recent years. And now, many of the new species of fish, coral, and other invertebrates are also on display. Aquarium visitors are treated to a unique view of our mysterious ocean planet. So some of the species are actually displayed here in the public area. No, absolutely, a lot of them now. And this is a tank that we call Deep Reef. Mm -hmm. uh, and this tank houses some of the animals that we collected in the mesophotic reefs or the twilight zone of the Philippines. So uh, what, are, what are we looking at? Yeah, the, well, there's a number of species of, of fish in here that we call antheus or fairy basslets. They're a personal favorite of mine, really gorgeous fish, really bright colored. Uh, and there's three individuals of a, of a kind of antheus in there. And there's also a little, what's called a wrasse. Uh, and that's a whole family of fish, very diverse family of fish. Uh, and there's one in here uh, that I collected myself, uh, almost 300 feet. 
Tell me what okay. we're looking at here. So these bright orange fish that you see, um, they're called flasher wrasses, uh, and the male is the, the bigger, more colorful one right there, and they call him flasher wrasses because he has really gorgeous colors and, and really big fins, but he doesn't show them off. He comes up and then all of a sudden, he oh, kind of like gives you a quick peek, <laughs> and then he puts them away. Uh, and that's part of their social structure and the communication that they have between each other, between individuals, males and females, males and other males. So this is the Philippine Coral Reef. Um, this is one of our centerpiece exhibits. It's the largest and deepest indoor coral reef in the world. Um, we've been developing this now for seven years, eight years. We modeled this after uh, two or three different dive sites that we regularly visit when we go to the Philippines. When you look into this tank, um, what you're seeing is close to 2,000 individual fish in here, representing more than 100 species. And that's pretty impressive for an aquarium. However, it's probably one fifth of the diversity that we see we're in the, when we're in the Philippines. Why is this work so important to you? I'm fairly confident that in, unless we radically change things, that in my lifetime we'll see you know, a, a much greater degradation of coral reefs and that, uh, you know, that, that all of that could be lost. So, so I want to help sustain that. I want to explore that. Uh, you know, and I want to explain that, show that to uh, the people of the earth have come here to the academy to see these beautiful animals that exist uh, no place else on the planet.